Good morning and welcome again to Renfrew North Parish Church and here again we're in the newly refurbished church garden. At the head of Campbelltown Loch there is an island, Devar Island. It sits at the head and protects the harbour from the seas around. But there's something interesting about this island. At high tide it's only accessible by boat and at low tide you can walk across to it. And sometimes when you walk across, you can imagine how only hours before there would have been several meters of water and, sev and hours later, there'll be several meters of water too. But now, whilst you're walking across it, it's there perfectly safe. And also, if you want, you can just imagine yourself walking on water, as indeed the picture of me shows. You can pretend as if you're walking on water. Today the reading is from Matthew's Gospel, and it's about the time when Jesus walked on the water. So I'm going to read now from Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 to 33. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. And when evening came, he was there alone. But the boat was already a considerable distance from land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got out of the boat, walked on the water and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. Yes, the passage is about Jesus walking on the lake and demonstrating the power and authority that he had over the waves and the wind. But there's also th something about Peter. Peter was invited to walk towards Jesus. But first of all, Peter had to do something. He had to step out of the boat. He had to do away with the security of his surroundings, his comfort zone as it is, as it were, and to just take that step. He stepped out in faith so that he could walk towards Jesus. These have certainly been uncertain times and these times, as with other difficult times in our lives, sometimes require us to step out in faith, to take that step out of the boat. They'll require us to take that first step, to do what needs to be done. But if we do, Jesus will be there, as indeed he was with Peter. He'll be there stretching out his hand and helping us along the way. So if you find yourself wondering what to do sometimes, just step out of the boat, step out in faith, reach out your hand towards Jesus and he will hold it and he will walk with you. I'm going to share now the prayer that we're invited to pray together as we join with other Christians on a Sunday evening. So let us pray. Lord, you are our creator and our maker. We are fashioned in your image and all that we are is known to you. Hear us as we cry out and respond to us in our time of need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
Lord, your word has become flesh and lived among us, full of grace and truth. As the living word comes, we respond with open hearts and ask that you will meet us in the place where we are today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, you see all that takes place around us and nothing is hidden from your sight. You see waves that batter us and the storm that seems unceasing. Come to us in response to the depth of our need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, your presence is revealed in the life of your Son. He knows us as we are and even now he prays for us. May he hear us when we are anxious and respond when we are afraid. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, you inspire us in faith. And yet we confess that our faith is weak. Hear us when we cry, Lord, save me. And in response, reach out your hand to all who cry to you today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen. May God be with you through this week. Stay well and stay safe. Goodbye. The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. He makes me lie in pastures green. He leads me by the still, still. restores my soul and I will trust in you